Hey, hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars, and welcome if this is your first time to this page. I'm your host, Kieran Tross. Um, in today's how to video, I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Laps. And for those of you who may not know what that is, Microsoft Laps stands for Microsoft's Local Administrative Password Solution. So the solution is a great tool to use for your organization to help safeguard your environment uh, for any kind of password theft. So basically, why would you want to install Microsoft Labs? So what happens is within an organization, uh, that local computer password is used uh, when a PC uh, needs to get connected to a domain or if a PC is no longer associated with the domain. So what an administrator will do is use this password to gain access to the desktop, log into it, and then reconnect that device. But if this password isn't changed periodically, which in most organizations it isn't, uh, it could cause some major issues. Now, you may have some desktop uh, solution like a case or some other solution like Intune that you can uh, change the local password with it. Uh, but Labs kind of just takes it to another level. Uh, which you know forces it to uh, change uh, uh, for uh, every single time, right? You can you can make those modifications and you can connect to the machine, and then you can have that password change. Uh, in this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to install it, implement it, and how it works. So, what are we going over within this how-to video? So, one of the things we're going to go over is we're going to install Microsoft Laps. Well, actually, you know what? Let me take take a step back. Let's talk about the prerequisites. So in order to you to utilize it, you have to use have a Windows Server uh, 2012 R2 and above. And then also, uh, so that's 2009 to 2016, uh, Windows 10, uh, Windows 8, and so on. Uh, you need to have Active Directory Server of 2003 SP1 or later. Uh, I mean, then you have to have uh, management tools for PowerShell 2.0 as well and .NET Framework 4.0. So let's go into what we're going to uh, go through the steps within this video. So one, number one, we're going to install Microsoft Labs. As I said to you before, this is a free tool. Uh, I'm going to place the link to download this application in the description of this video. Two, we're going to update the Active Director schema. Three, we're going to change the computer object's permissions. Um, four, we're going to assign these permissions to our help desk team. So this way that they have the uh, permissions to uh, change and modify the laps um, tool. Five, we're going to install CSE on the computers. And six, we're going to create a GPO for lap settings. And in seven, any good administrator or consultant or architect, it doesn't really matter what you want to call yourself, will always do this, which is testing. We have to make sure that what we're doing is working. So I'm going to come down here to Microsoft Edge. And I'm already on the screen. And if you see here, uh, this is the website. And I says, as I said before, I'm going to put this in the description. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on download. So once you click on download, make sure you go to the Laps X64, not the .msi uh, ARM one. And you're going to click on next. And then once you click on download, you click OK. And then you're going to click next and accept next. And what we want to make sure we're doing is uh, inside features, we want to make sure it gets installed. So we're going to get the fat client, the UI, the user interface. Then we need the PowerShell modules. So that this way we can uh, change the schema. And then we need the GPO template. So this way it's added to our domain controller. So that this way we can uh, set this up from a GPO standpoint. So let's click install and let that run. And then that's it. So we've got that portion completed. Okay, so now that the installation is completed, what we need to do is now go into PowerShell. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to type in PowerShell. Run as administrator. And first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to import module. ADMPWD.PS. Once that's imported, what we need to do is going to run update ADMPWD schema. Okay, so right now you're seeing it says entry already exists for me because I've already run it. On your end, you will see something that says successful. 
So after we finish doing that, what you can see is we're just gonna have uh, two new schemas that are gonna be added to our objects. So if I were to open up Active Directory and already have it open here, just make sure you have view users and advanced features already there. And if you go to properties, you'll see an attribute editor. And if you come down, you're gonna look for MS MCS admin password. So let me just scroll down MCS. Right here. So these are two new schemas. So admin uh, password and then admin password expiration time. And that's what the uh, uh, GUI uses to uh, make those modifications. So next thing we need to do is we're gonna come down and we're gonna set admin uh, password computer self permissions. So we need to, we're gonna do it for our VM East region. So we're gonna go set ADM PWD computer self permissions org unit. Let me make sure I got the name right. It's a VM East region, VM East region. So that is successful. It says delegated. And this OU is where all our machine objects are going to be at. So after this, what we're going to do is we're going to assign permissions, right? So if we remember, we were talking earlier about our steps. The next one we're doing is assign these permissions, right, for the computer objects to our help desk team. So what I want to do is uh, this group, I need to delegate so that this way they can view the passwords for local administrators. So here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to find ADM PWD extended identity. And we're going to say VM East region. So at the moment, you can see it says object DN, right? It's going to give us the OU and extended rights. It says domain admins have the rights at the moment. So what we want to do is we want to say, okay, domain admins have the rights, but we want to allow another um, team to have rights to set and read those permissions. So what we need to do is type in set ADM PWD read password permissions identity vm east region and then allowed principles help desk so now he says it says it is um delegated but let's just test it out and make sure that it is delegate delegated so we're going to do the find command again but this time we're going to add FL behind it. And there, now we have um, domain admins and then it also shows us our, our group, which is the help desk group. So that's great. So next, let's go ahead and let's install our CSE uh, computers. Matter of fact, before we even go about doing that, we need to do our file share. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here to Explorer and within Explorer, I want you to create a folder. So I have a folder here, it's called lap share. And what I did was I dropped that same uh, executable file within this, that folder. You probably still have it in your downloads, right? So if you just go to your downloads, you probably still have that same document that we, we, we retrieved earlier when we went to the laps administrator download. And the next thing you need to do is you're gonna go to server manager and within server manager, you're gonna go to the shares. Server manager, file storage, and then shares. So then we're gonna do a new share, and then we're gonna do a quick share, and we're gonna do a custom path, and we're gonna go to the path of where that folder is. So lap share, click select, click next. We'll call it lap share, which is fine. We don't need catch in, and then we click next, and we click create and close. So now we know our share is there. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna go into group policy management. And then in group policy management, what we need to do is we have this VM East region. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna now say, click create a GPO and I will call it my 
Oops. Um, uh, miss laps. Microsoft laps. And what we're going to do is next we're going to right click. We're going to click edit. And we're going to go into our computer objects. So computer configurations, policies, software settings. And over here, we need to uh, new, put a new package. And we're going to point that package to that same share. So it's going to say, we could go straight to it because it's a share. Lab share. Oh, I know why it doesn't like it because it wants to see it as a share name. So let's do whack whack cloud scholars. DC Cloud Scholar, excuse me, lab share. So then once it goes here, we're going to click assign and then we're good. So that's fine. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a GPO for the lap settings. So, um, we're going to go right back. We're going to, uh, go into, um, and we can click. Okay. And then we're going to go into administrative templates. We're going to click on laps and then here we have four settings. We're going to click on enable local password and management, and we're going to enable this. And then we're going to click apply and then click OK. Then we're going to click on password settings. And we're going to enable that as well. And you can see right here, you can modify the password complexities. So if you hit down here, you could just say large letters, you could do small letters, you could do large letters, small letters, numbers, and then you could have large letters, small letters, numbers, and special characters. Let's leave it to that. And then we have password complexity. We can have password length 14, password age 30 days is up to your organization. Right here, it tells you a little bit more about the parameters, um, about you know the complexities. So it's about the password length. You can do minimum eight, maximum 64. You have all this stuff you can do, but we'll keep it to the default at the moment. We'll click apply and then we'll click okay. Okay, so Cloud Scholars, here we are, and we're gonna modify this name of admin account to manage so what this portion this option gives us is this option says hey what is the administrative local administrative account you're using in your organization so whatever that administrative account is you need to put it in here because what laps is going to do is it's going to use those credentials and then it's going to modify the second part which is the password but in order for it to work successfully it needs to know what your admin name is now hopefully in your organization, you have something that is unique for an admin account and not use an administrator uh, because of security best practices. So here, we're just gonna put in our credentials. And then once we finish putting our credentials, we're gonna go ahead and hit click apply and okay. And the last setting right here is do not allow password expiration time longer than required policy. So we're just going to enable that, right? Um, planned password expiration is longer than expired password uh, age dictated by password settings. Policy is not allowed. When such expiration is detected, the password is changed immediately and password expiration is set to accordingly. So we're going to allow that one as well. And then we're going to click apply and then we're going to click OK. So we are enabled across the board. So now let's look at the testing. So let's click out of this. Let's close this out. We've got a lot of windows open here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our laps UI. All right, Cloud Scholar. So I'm going to put in VM01. I'm going to click search. And see right there is give me the new password of the local admin password. And I can set a new one and I can change when. I want it to expire and so forth. So that's the new one right now. And then we have a set, a set to uh, change, I believe every 30 days. So if you're running to some issues, um, I do want to show you a few things. One, server manager. Let's just make sure we go back into our share. I didn't do this earlier. This slipped my mind. But if we go back to our share, and we go to properties, 
permissions. Just make sure everyone is in there to read. So you want to make sure that this everyone has read and execute. Um, well, we don't really need read and execute. Read and execute. Just read is fine. Um, for that permissions, you got to remember this is a test environment. So, um, but I want to make sure I give you the right stuff. So not read and execute. Cute. This read is perfectly fine. And then you click apply, and then you're fine there. And then for your group policies. Just so you know, for this for this same one, just make sure you put it on enforce, not only this linked, so that this way you can get through and it can work. And then you may run into this error message as well. You'll get something like this. I just went online to find it um, on the computer that you guys are pushing it to. So you'll see a computer policy update. You might have to do a force for it to kind of go through so you can see what's going if you're doing it for like a test group of users within your environment. So as always, it's normally IT that gets tested out first. So you'll see this happen. You'll get this group policy client side extension soil for installation. Was able to apply one or more settings because the changes must be processed before the startup or, or user login. So it has to get it has to get rebooted for it to finalize and do all the other stuff that needs to get completed. Just go ahead and click yes. Um, once that happens, um, then you'll see that your um, lapse user information will start to work. And that is about it. That's pretty much how you go about uh, installing a lapse. So now that you have uh, lapse installed, you don't have to worry about your local passwords being compromised. You can sleep safe at night. Um, this is a great free tool from Microsoft. Just to let you know, Microsoft did come up with another, uh, is coming up with another tool for managing uh, those same passwords, but doing it from a cloud perspective. They have something for Azure as well. I will be making a video talking about that. Um, I need to do some research, look it up, see how it works out, but they want to do something lapse in the cloud. So that is coming soon. So as always, please, if you liked the content that I provided for you, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Here at Cloud Scholars, our goal is always to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.